Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program has to accept two integers that is integer n and k and print the desired peak has pattern as shown in the output. Now we'll take our first test case. So here we have 15 and 4 that is we have to print 15 integers and with a peak value of 4. So our output will be like 1, 2, 3, 4 and after reaching 4 that is the peak value we have to decrease so it becomes 3, 2, 1 and after 1 that is the least then again we have to increase. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll repeat this until we get 15 integers. So we have got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have got 15 integers with the peak of 4. Now we'll take our second test case. So here we have to print 10 integers with a peak of 20. So for the first 10 integers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here itself we have got the 10 integers. We are not getting the peak of 20 so we'll stop with this and we'll take our third test case so here we have to print 18 integers with the peak of 3 so that is 1 2 3 3 is the peak value and here we should decrease it becomes 3 2 1 and again 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1 and so on repeating these until we get 18 integers. So yes, after this it is 1, 2, yeah, now we have got 18 integers and this will be our output. Get clarifications for any program and clear your program errors effortlessly by using our Instagram page. Programming made simple here. We have mentioned our Insta ID in this video description. Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the input integer n and k. And then we'll have two variables called as num and rotation as 1 so if rotation is equal to 1 means we have to increment the num and if rotation is equal to 0 means we have to decrement the num so as we have the pattern in increasing decreasing manner so and then we have to iterate over the n integers as we have to print up to n integers so initially we'll print the num and use end argument and then we have to check our condition that is if rotation is equal to 1 means the num should be incremented by 1 else the num should be decremented by 1. So after reaching the peak value we have to decrease right so for that if the num is equal to equal to k plus 1 means 
that is if it reaches the peak value then num should be decremented that is num is equal to k minus 1 that is if we have k is equal to 3 means we have to print 1 2 3 and then it should not go to 4 rather it should come to 2 right so for that in order to get that is in order to decrease their value we are using n is, num is equal to k minus 1 and then rotation is equal to 0 and in the else part sorry in the elif part we'll have the num as equal to equal to 0 and num equal to 2 for example if the peak value is 3 means then we have 1 2 3 and 2 1 and here it should not reach 0 so if it reaches 0 means we have to print it as 2 so that's why we have given num equal to 2 and again rotation is equal to 1 now let us execute our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our second test case here also we have got the correct output now we'll pass our third test case here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video